Hey YouTube, here's my bike, 3,800 kilometers in. I've made all the mods I want to make to it. She's about done. Batteries are only getting about 12 kilometers per charge now. She runs fine. No jerking, no rattling. All of my LEDs still work. All of them. I had to reseat my left signal because it fell out of the socket, but it still works. Made a little mod right here. Drilled four holes with for some zip ties for a cell phone mount. Drilled a nice big hole for an aux cord, which I didn't end up needing. And I think it's pretty cool. I've got almost 38 on it. My cell phone. I've got a nice map. I've got a window app that gives me my music. It's pretty loud. Uh, for those of you wondering where my speakers are, I've ended up stashing them in this compartment down here. I've got a Bluetooth speaker with a, a slave speaker that's hooked up via the. Uh, I'll just be easier to take all this out and show you guys. All right. Very simple. One Bluetooth speaker with the aux out going to a secondary speaker. And a, Bluetooth, and a little battery backup because my Bluetooth speaker's batteries are terrible. I just swap, swap, swap it, swap it in between whenever my, uh, whenever one of the batteries dies on the Bluetooth speakers, which happens about 20 minutes, 30 minutes into a ride. But, but with these 10 to 12 kilometer batteries, I'm not getting much more than that anyway. End up putting an extension cord outside of the house. No more carrying the battery in. That's nice. Uh, I did end up backing into a parking meter. Had to do some super gluing to get the cover back on. But other than that, she rides like a dream. Other than the fact that I weigh 300 pounds and I'm 20 pounds over the weight limit. So, it's not the fastest, but I get there. Uh, she did fall sometime in the winter. All this soft ground. Uh, my mirror got cracked. Hello. And yeah, I love it. If anyone's wondering about getting one of these, as long as the batteries aren't completely fried, I recommend it amazingly. Yeah, almost 3,800 kilometers in.